Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about measuring specific heat capacity. So this is the experimental method. So firstly, uh, to measure the specific heat capacity of a metal of known mass, you must first heat the metal to a known temperature. So for example, you can heat in, a, in boiling water to 100 degrees C. So you've got a heat source there, you've got a beaker and some water, a thermometer and then your metal and you're going to heat it up to 100 degrees C. Okay, once the metal is at 100 degrees C, you transfer the metal to, a, uh, to cold water, and you note the temperature and the mass of the water before placing the metal in the water, and record the maximum temperature that the cold water reaches. So normally you do this in a polystyrene cup because it's a good insulator to reduce any kind of heat loss uh, by conduction. So you've got your cold water, a different thermometer, but the same metal you just from, uh, transfer from the heat math into the cold water. And then we need to look at our equation for specific heat capacity. So our delta Q, well that's the change in heat, which is in joules, uh, is equal to the uh, mass in kilograms times the specific heat capacity, which is joules per kilogram per degree, uh, times the change in the temperature, which is in uh, degrees centigrade, or it can be in Kelvin. Okay, to the final part, okay, so we're going to assume that the energy from the metal gained in the heat bath is going to be transferred to the cold water. So what we can say is that the, the mass uh, of, the, of the metal times the specific heat capacity of the metal times the change in temperature of the metal, well that's going to equal to the mass of the water times the specific heat capacity of the water times the change in temperature of the water. And then we can just rearrange our formula to find the specific heat capacity of the metal because it's the only thing we don't know. Okay, so let's have a look at an example problem. So a 250 gram block of aluminium is heated in a water bath to 100 degrees C after being placed in uh, three, uh, 300 grams of 21 degrees uh, C water. The temperature of the water rises to 33.1 degrees. Find the specific heat capacity of aluminium. Okay, so firstly we need to work out, well, how much energy did the water gain from the aluminium block? Uh, and we know that the, the energy change, for the, or the energy lost by the metal is equal to the energy gained by the water. Now, the specific heat capacity of the water is uh, 4,200 degrees. So the mass of the water, well, it's 300 grams, so which is 0 0.3 kilograms, times by uh, 420 times by 12.1 because the temp why, why 12.1 well the temperature went from 21 degrees to 33.1 degrees which is a difference of 12.1 okay so the energy gained by the water is uh, 15,246 joules now we need to divide by the uh, the mass of the metal and the change in temperature of the metal so the metal block, the aluminium, had a mass of 250 grams, which is 0 0.25 kilograms. And the block went from 100 degrees to 33.1, which is a change of 66.9 degrees. So that's where the 66.9 comes from. And you get a specific heat capacity of uh, 911 joules per kilogram per degree. Okay, guys, I hope that's been useful. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye for now.